Hey you guys, it is day 27 and yes, it is late. Pretty just left and I have to get these readings done. So there you have it. Today is day 27. We are 27 days into this year, April, four months, 27 days. This is like crazy. This year is going by so fast. I mean, but if you think about it, Yes, and we're focusing on peace, okay? Laugh now, cry later. That had, that when I was younger, that used to be my saying, laugh now, cry later, because you can laugh and play with me all you want, but you'll be the one that's crying down the line, and yes, my nail is missing. <sighs> there you have it. It is missing. That's just the story of my life, and let me just tell you the ghettoness around here. I'm gluing it back on because it literally came off. I bent it back. I put, yeah. I don't have time to go to the nail shop right now. So that's where I'm at right now. So this is driving me crazy. Yes, I can put it back on. And that's just where I'm at. Reassess, move, patience, and peace. This is all we've been uh, dealing with this last five, four months, almost five months. You know, reassessing and saying no, moving forward, getting outside, getting into nature, grounding ourselves and being patient with ourselves and being pe peaceful. So I don't think this has come out uh, yet. Laugh now, cry later is what I say this is, but I'm going to go ahead. Just because some people are fueled by drama doesn't mean you have to attend the performance. Make your life a drama-free zone. Come on now, because look, the thing is, is that if you don't, what's going to happen is that you're going to not be peaceful anymore. And that's going to mess up everything when it comes to anybody. And, you know, patience, you know, so be patient. It is safe to wait. So sometimes you just got to sit back and say it is what it is and be patient. The next one is move. It says a long walk is good for the soul. Get outside, allow mother nature to lift your spirits. And that is what you need to do is start moving and doing things that you want to do. We are a creature of habits. We love nature. Uh, we love things to, you know, we love to see pretty, witty things. My sign up here says, I adore pretty things and witty words. So there you have it. Reassess. And we talked about this. So again, when these cards come out like this, when it's double, that's us fighting with our other side or our conscience to say, uh, be sad cry do this do that and when these cards come out like that to me double that's how i see it you have the right to change your mind so this is you you know and this is what we do all the time is you know uh contemplate which way to go and then we lose our patience with people you know and then you know the peace is gone you know so it's like laugh now cry later people can laugh at you all they want or people you can be laughing and smiling and joking and you know everything until somebody disturbs your energy and then they're going to be crying later because we don't our wrath is a little bit different you know once we realize that we're assets and not liabilities that's just where we are so now i'm going to yep look at that that's happiness. That's uh, with the Ten of Pentacles energy. That's carefree life, happiness, uh, harmo happy love and harmonious energy or happy, happy life, you know, and that's just where it is with the Ten of Pentacles coming off at the top. It could have been close to 10 years. You've been trying to get to this point. And now here it is. Listen, the page of wands. We're not holding on to the past. Yesterday is history. Tomorrow's a mystery. The only thing that's real is the present moment. And so enjoy it. Enjoy that present moment. You know, I always tell you what, what, what's the matter? Nothing. You know, it's in the past. You know what I mean? Rafiki knows the way. The Queen of Swords energy is stand up for yourself. Always speak your mind and don't take shit from anyone. So that's just the energy that we're in. You know, we're making decisions based upon us. The King of Swords energy. So we have the King and the Queen here. Just to let you know, we have the King and the Queen of Swords. These are emotions that we're dealing with, you know, and so... The uh, King of um, Swords energy says, when faced with difficult situations, be impartial. Carefully evaluate your options with a rational mind. That rational mind, again, laugh now, cry later, because you try to, you know, be on, you know, the point of be there for everyone. But when you laughing now, when they laughing and they, and, you know, will be soon crying later, 
you know, because you, you have anxiety when it comes to not being there for people. So now we're just learning how to reassess the things, move forward and be patient with ourselves and take leaps for ourselves, you know, and be peaceful with the situation. You know, again, we try not to go from zero to 100, but with the Knight of Cups energy, it says always follow your heart. It'll never lead you astray because it knows things the mind can't uh, explain. And so when it comes to somebody working with you as a team, if they don't want to work with you as a team, then you know what? It's time for you to reassess the things that you're doing and move forward. Be patient about it and understand that that's causing you more peace than anything else. And so that's just how I see it. Yeah, because you've been patient, you've been bored, and you've been disconnected from this energy. It's caused you anxiety. It's caused you all type of sleepless nights. And so therefore, you want the four of wands energy, which is peace, happiness, and har harmony, which is the same thing as the ten of pentacles. So again, you have to focus on what it is that you want to do, not focusing on the heartbreak, always heartbreak, always understand that, you know, um, the, the three of swords energy is finding a way out, seeking liberation from the heartbreak, you know? So, you know, you either run from it or you learn from it and we're going to learn from it because the opportunities with the page of cups energy is here. And so the opportunities, the uh, invitations, and even the love comes with learning lessons, you know, learning how you want to be loved because you've been working on yourself. And that just lets you know you're working on yourself in order for you to have your happy life, happy wife energy. Or the Ten of Cups energy is basically love, satisfaction, and harmonious energy. Because you know that you're going to make plans to travel, new ideas, and things like that. And so you're going to juggle your priorities. But this all comes with growth. And remember, the High Priestess energy is something that can only be understood through experience. And so the self-destructive patterns that you've been through, the conflict and competition has to come with the king of pentacles energy knowing that there's no reward without risk you have to create the opportunities don't be afraid to fail and invest your time wisely but in the process of this the goal is for peace you know to be patient and move forward and reassess the things and it's okay to say no and if somebody doesn't understand that then that means that they're not the one that you need to have any type of connection union or even friendships with you know and that's just how it goes and that means that you got to walk away because this, this is having clarity and understanding with the king of wands energy that a true leader which is you who leads from the heart and inspires others to do more dream bigger and be better but if somebody can't inspire you and even walk that pay, that road with you and be patient and peaceful and be okay with you reassessing situations then they can't come with you you know you're not you're not going to be willing to surrender to an experience or a situation you're balancing out the scales you're not overthinking and you're doing what makes your heart happy you're not going to feel backstab anymore when it comes to you uh, cancer the chariot moving forward with confidence and that's just where we are right now so remember reassess move be patient and practice peace and move forward with confidence and that's just what we're doing today so you guys it's day 27 i will be on later on my pretty is gone um so uh i will be late on later on if i can have enough courage to hit the live button maybe i'll go live but right now Trying to get this stuff together before I uh, start doing my other reads. I love you guys.